Hi, I'm Bobby Buter with my Mark Implement. I'm here today to talk to you about tractor optimization. The first thing I want to talk to you today about is tire pressure, something that gets missed often before hooking up the planter. We want to check tire pressure. Um, this tractor does not have duals, but if it was equipped with duals, all four tires need to have equal air pressure in it. Please check your operation manual for proper pressure. Next, we're going to talk about the hitch. Um, we want to make sure that the category of the hitch is set for the proper implement, category three, category four. The next thing we're going to talk about on the hitch is your lift arms. Uh, we want to make sure that those are properly adjusted and even. Um, we want to make sure that in the operating position of the hitch, that you still have travel down if you were to go over uneven ground, terraces, things like that. Um, so we want to adjust those, adjust that length. Also, we want to make sure that the hitch is not, uh, cylinders are not in the full down position that we do have travel for flow. An inch to an inch and a half is probably pretty proper. Also, we want to make sure that the lift arm bottom pin is in the bottom position. This allows travel and allows the hitch not to bind on, any, on uneven surfaces. Also, we want to adjust the top center link, making sure that the three point is perfectly vertical, um, allowing your planter bar to be even with the ground. If you are hooking up to a planter with lift assist wheels, please remove your center link. If you have a pull type planter, please remove your top hitch link. Next, I want to talk to you about SCVs. This tractor is uh, equipped with one, two, three, four, five, six SCVs, starting at one at the bottom, ending at the top. If hooking up to a mounted planter, number one is typically used for your going. It's closest to your hitch when you're uh, when you're lifting up the planter at the end of the field to turn around. Um, if the machine is equipped with back automation, we want to use uh, SCVs three and four for that. SCV two could be used for fold. Five could be used for a fertilizer pump. Um, or anything like that. As a reminder, if you're running implement guidance, SCVs one and three are the only two available to run that. Um, please note that any SCV, the last SCV on the top of the stack returns to the tank. It is not recommended to run constant flow with this SCV. Also available from your landmark parts department is hose labeling for your hydraulic hoses on your planter to your tractor. Part number AA78772. This red plug here is for a power beyond. This is a pressure port. This is typically used when hooking up CCS fans, IRHD, or VRD motors. Please note, this one is equipped with only one pressure. There is another port, and another one could be added. Um, you would just have to get the coupler from your parts department. Please note that your power beyond only has pressure when another SCV is activated or a load sense line, which is located up here, is plugged in. The lower two outlets with the black plugs in them located here are returns. Um, typically, we use those for CCS, VRDs, and IRHD. Located here on the bottom, this fat, flat face coupler is called a case drain. It is used for motor protection return. Also want to note that this tractor is not equipped with it, but an option from your local parts department is an auxiliary hitch port for single acting gall wings. Um, this coupler will act along with your hitch valve to lift your gull wings at the end of the field. Also on the back of the tractor is your ISO connector. This is connected to your planter, um, which brings all information to the tractor. Also, I want to talk to you about SCV functions and setup. SCV1 we're going to go into and I want to show you that there's uh, settings for time and flow. As you can see this flow is set at 5. Um, depending on what function is plugged into your SCV you can adjust your flow. Small increments with the 1 plus full digit flow by using the double plus button. You can also adjust your time for each SCV with seconds of how long you would like it to stay on. In some conditions where you are using vac motors or things like that, you're gonna want to have that on constant, which if you go all the way to the top will change to C. That's constant flow the complete time and will not shut off. This is available 
in every SCV. Not recommended on the top SCV-6. The next thing I want to talk to you about is ITAC Master. This is a function that doesn't always get used but is very handy in the field and takes minimal time to set up. First thing you want to do is go to your ITAC button located here at the bottom of the screen. After turning the ITAC Master on, we're going to look here and see that we have did an active sequence for our planner. This is the implement that we are using at this time. First thing we're going to do is select an ITEC button. ITEC 1 is the one I'm going to use first. We're going to add a step with ITEC. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use vertical vehicle speed. What I'm doing here is knowing that my average speed when planning is 5.5 miles an hour. I'm getting up to my headlands and I want to slow down to 3.5 miles an hour to turn around. I've put that speed in and now I have to add a distance. So after pushing ITEC 1 in 10 feet, it's going to shift to 3.5 miles an hour. The next step I'm going to ask it to do is lift my planter. So I'm going to pick rear hitch and we're going to raise the planter. This I want to happen when it shifts to 3.5 mile an hour. So in zero feet, I want it to lift the planter. After adding these steps, I'm gonna have to name the sequence. I'm gonna say lift. And it's assigned to iTech 1. As you can see, I've assigned iTech 1 and managed my sequence. Here's my lift mode modified. Next, I'm gonna add a sequence for setting the planter down after turning around in a headland. My rear hitch, I'm gonna put it into the lower position. After I hit zero, I wanna set this at zero so that when I push two, it sets my planter down. My next step is that after my planter is down, I want to adjust my vehicle speed to 5.5 mile an hour. And I want to do that after the planter is down and 5 feet. Now I have to name my sequence and that is down planter. I have to assign it to an iTech button. Now you can see that in my, I have a down planner and a lift planner and they are assigned. As you can see, your iTech buttons are located on your command arm. If you have any questions about tractor optimization, please contact your local landmark dealership.